Hello everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to another episode of Volcano Block. Give you a quick tip if you're not as far as I am progression-wise. Start a vine farm as early as possible. Otherwise, you're going to be going through a ton of um, mutation powder. Um, and it's easier just to grow the vines, shear them. That's going to be your primary support... Uh, primary source, there we go of uh, mossy cobblestone which you need to then turn into ancient mossy cobblestone which then you can turn into all the stuff you need for botania so you're gonna need a bunch of that um yeah we're we're looking cool um i've done a few things um because it was kind of some boring stuff that i didn't bother filming uh but we pressed almost to all the way through chapter three but it was really quick actually um the botania is actually not that bad as far as the changes they've made um, until you get to making all the runes for your Terra Steel. Um, this thing, you can see the water rune. Um, mana Steel is not just iron ingots, it's soul steel. That sucks. Mana Powder is Inferno Fuel. <laughs> that sucks. You gotta make a ton of these uh, Dark Souls. It's one for every one of these. Uh, watermelon, that wasn't that bad. Wet sand was a piece of cake, but we had to use this new machine that it made us make, the chemical or atomizer. Cool. Um, end diamonds are not fun. We're going to be making a bunch of those today. And leather the sea, I just had to um, get some prismarine brocks and turn it into a prismarine burst seed and then get all the stuff I needed. So today we want to make 20 arcane gold ingots. That might be our entire goal today honestly <laughs> it's not that easy um but one of the things we're going to need for both of these is a lot of flawless diamonds um which is made from calculator uh, mod and the one way to make them is to go through the atomic calculator with uh, these little guys the binders that's enriched gold and that's not fun and it's also two diamonds and i need like 50 of these maybe 40 or 50 total um, so the other way to get them is to sickle them off of a diamond tree. And I went ahead and made the diamond tree. It comes from a pear tree, which comes from uh, a tanzanite and an amethyst. And those all have interesting recipes, um, which the quest book will guide you through. Uh, they all involve calculator. But now that I have the diamond sapling, it only grows on an end diamond block. And that is this guy here. We need nine of these. Each one of them takes an end stone. Um, and how do you get end stone? That's the question. Uh, you've got this. There's not craftable. Um, you can use uh, a burst seed once you have four. But where do you get your original four, right? The way to do that is to get your end seed of life. Or whatever this is called. Seed of the end. A white. An, or a yellow, two grass, and a garbon, garbon bosia. Now we made this at the end of last episode, and I used it um, to make one, but then I forgot to make it into a burst seed to get more, and so I'm actually out. So I have to make another one of these. <laughs> um, but when I do, I want to make a, uh, a nice um, burst it, whatever. So let's... What's the plan? <laughs> oh, I know why I was doing it. I was going to make a, um, a squeezer, a mechanical squeezer, because I get better outputs. Because I need to combine this with um, a bunch of crust dark crystals or dark gems. I'd rather mechanical squeeze them because I think I get three um, plus a chance, a bonus chance at the dark gem. There it is. Yeah, three plus a bonus chance. Awesome. So let's make this mechanical squeezer first off. Um, two batteries, obsidian, a squeezer, and a diamond. Squeeze in. Yeah, everything was really easy to make. So, got that already. Oh, missing a block of obsidian. Made that big, huge, giant chest to finish that quest off from long ago. Alright, so that's mechanical squeezer. That's going to need to connect to power, which we have tons of. I think I'm up like at like 12 million right now. Yeah, 13 million. Um, where can we plug this guy in? I don't want to have to make another. Eh, I probably actually have the blocks for it. Let's do it. So I need one of those and one of those. And we can just connect this 
right here. Okay, so squeezer is ready. Um, it's got a ton. Oh, why is it not getting power? Oh, I need one of the little interface things. One of the little cards to tell it. Yeah, you can run. Use this card. I don't know why. Now we're in power. Okay, so let's go ahead and squeeze a few dark gems. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to squeeze dark gem ore. Not let ore. Dark gem ore. So we get three dark gems every time and a chance at some crushed, which is awesome. And all I need is the eight, so we can let that keep going. While we go ahead and make another one of these. It's a good thing we killed two of these vengeance when we needed to, right? Um, and this guy I need to combine with 50,000 blood. How much blood do we have? Yeah, Endermen are escaping. <laughs> 106,000, cool. Is this actually going? All right, it's going. It's going to take a while. That's going to get us more end stone that we need um, to get those end diamonds. All right, um, so let's look at this. Uh, the, the end goal here, and not only is those 40 or 20 arcane gold ingots, but also some sparks so I can make my terra steel, and they also take arcane gold. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. Gold's easy, charcoal's easy. Um, here's what I need my diamonds for, because those are going to be electric diamonds in the blood infuser, like 50 of those maybe. Um, but then we also need the Moondabiter, moon, moon Moondabiter, <laughs> it's like Mundabiter, let's call it Mundabiter, um, which also take arcane crystal dust, so we need more of those, um, bone meals, prismarine, and gas tears. So let's make sure we have the bone meal. The prismarine comes from squeezing those, or and that comes from breaking or grinding those. Okay. I have a bunch of these because I use a burst seed. So let's we'll get a few of those, and we can mechanically squeeze them down into prismarine. Cool. All right, and then the um, I've been putting Endermen through here. That's why there's a few out, and they've been escaping. Uh, but I need to grab these Ender Tears as well and put them through here. But now we have the Garbin Bosia. We can make base seed of life. White and yellow. White. White is always the least common. Even, I don't even use it that much, but I never have it. That's a grass. And go back to here. Craft one of these. All right, so this is going to turn the area around it into endstone, a little bit of it. So I've been doing it up there, mainly because I wasn't sure how much was going to turn into the end, or if it was actually going to be the end, <laughs> spawn a dragon or something, I didn't know. So I did it up here, just to be safe uh, the first time, so we'll do it again the second time. And do I don't have any blocks to hop on, so... I just made a giant thing of cobble. This is what I did. Um, let's skin the top off real quick, just so it's flat. Every one that was already missing was something that spawned. All right, that should be a big enough area. And we just go hold right click and splot. Now make sure you get this chorus flower. If you just vein mine the end stone, you're not gonna get it and you need chorus fruit. So make sure you get this and then start a farm of it and grow a bunch. Uh, we do get a lot of moonstone, a lot of, oh, I 
didn't mean to mine the cobble. That could have been bad. We almost ended up in the lava. <laughs> Grab all of this juicy stuff. Okay, that looks like enough. Now you see we ended up with about 20 end stone, so I used probably 16 of it doing what I needed because I had. Well, I wonder if I did have four left and could have skipped that whole thing. Because I think I, I think I thought I needed eight for the burst seed, and I didn't. I already had four. Oh well, now we have tons. So just in case, let's go ahead and make a burst seed so that we can have lots yellow. So always, if you're on your last four end stone, do this <laughs> instead of using it. And I've just been throwing them right in here. One fun thing to do, if it doesn't explode before I get there, is if I can find it, get a mini gravity block. Put it right there. <laughs> it should suck it all back to it. Then you don't have to chase it all over the place. But yeah, we turned 4 into 48. That was pretty nice. Oh, 49. Cool, cool, cool. And that's about how many we need total, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, so let's make these end diamonds again. So they're diamonds, obsidian. So we need to mine some obsidian. Do I have a bunch of obsidian anywhere? I think I have some over here. Just want to get some water down, then we can vein mine this obsidian. Stay here, stay here. How many do we get? 15. That should be good. Okay, let me get rid of like the spoonstone, this purper, some cobble. I need another diamond. Wrong machine. We need the atomic separator? No. Atomic calculator. Endstone. Diamonds. Obsidian. That's not right. I need to make the other kind of diamonds. Right? Yeah. Electric. Okay. Which means I need double that amount of diamonds. And a bunch of these. My base is getting a little bit crowded. Oops. We didn't craft them. No. This is what you craft them in. Okay, so nine fire diamonds. Get these electrified. If you guys are uh, trying to play modded Minecraft and having trouble launching the Twitch launcher, it's crashing. Uh, I have another video out that shows how to fix it, by the way. A little plug there for that other video. I was kind of upset. I was trying to play a volcano block, and <laughs> I couldn't for about like 45 minutes until I figured out how to fix it. Um, okay. Obsidian and stone. All right, so there's our nine end diamonds, and you can see why we don't want to ever have to do that again. It's a lot of diamonds, a lot of end stone. End stone's not as precious since we have burst seeds, but diamonds a little bit more. So we're gonna turn this into a block, and we need to go plant our diamond on it. Um, give me a bucket of water too, so I get rid of the lava. Um, let's plant it. Probably good right there. Okay. 
All right. Now we'll see if she grows. We are going to need a sickle uh, to harvest it. And the sickle is made up of two tools using reinforced stuff, which I already have in my inventory. Reinforced shovel, reinforced axe. Well, the durability on these is pretty decent. I don't know. And then I need a calculator to combine them. Nope, don't know much you. You go away too. All right, now I have no idea how long it takes for this thing to grow. Um, it's got a bunch of little end stuff around it. There it goes. Okay, now you can't just sickle the leaves. You have to let them grow, but they seem to grow pretty fast. So we just right click on them and they will grow for us. Harvest them. Now my big question is whether they regrow or not, because I think that is a mod pack uh, configuration, but it looks like they do regrow because that one we already harvested and it let us do it again. There we go. Okay, so you can see we only got seven flaws, so a bunch of them are weak. Can we use those for anything? We can make some weak diamond tools with them. Uh, but you can also use them in these um, other calculator blocks, uh, which will be nice because normally... Oh yeah, I guess you have to use these weakened ones. Which you can get from a diamond, but we don't have to. We've got a diamond tree, which grows them rather quickly. And this sickle has unlimited durability. Oh, that's beautiful. But I did say I needed about 40 of those, right? <laughs> this thing doesn't seem to update like perfectly fast. Like I right click and a few seconds later it updates. Did I just walk into the lava? <laughs> Where's water? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so sad. Um, let's not do that again. Originally I was like trying to preserve my base from having lava all around it, but honestly. Yeah, it's really weird. It makes the sound effect, but it doesn't actually... The graphic is like a little bit delayed. How are we doing? 17? Alright, let's deal with what we have for now. Oh, why did you fall off? Oh, because I threw water in the ground. Good thing, because that guy's not cheap. Okay, so now that we have these flawless diamonds... Um, we can much easier make the fire diamonds when we need them. Blazer rods are cheap. Flawless glass. What is that used for? The greenhouse. Oh. I think the greenhouse is almost like a thing that grows plants inside it, like automatically harvest them, maybe? I don't know. It'd be pretty cool if it were. Like, yeah, there's lots of things we need to grow and auto harvest. Um, but making them in bulk, that would be hard, so I'm not sure how fast it grows them. So let's go back to our goal here. We need a bunch of these guys. Electric diamonds. So we want to make, make basically everything into fire diamonds. Um, and we are almost out of blaze rods, so that means we need more a bit of lava sand. So four sand, four iron buckets, and our bit of measure. Bit measurer. Um, I don't think I have enough iron buckets. So it's really easy piece of cake recipe to get blaze rods much easier than getting diamonds. 
And that's why this recipe is this way. Once you have flawless diamonds, much easier to make fire diamonds. But this does mean I'm starting to use up a lot more power now, so I combine these, but I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. 13.9 <laughs> million. Oh, and we did need some eggs, so make sure you also get a chicken farm to produce you some eggs. You might want to like, get a magnet on there to put them into a chest or something, but... Alright, let's take these eight and get them started in here. And again, this thing I need 30 maybe of these. 25 to 30, maybe 40. And they're each taking 3,000 blood. Go chickens! <laughs> I should probably convert back to zombies, but that's okay. So we'll go with what we have. We'll make a bunch of arcane gold and then maybe I'll skip ahead a little bit because it's just going to get repetitive. But we need to grind these up, right? I can make more weather stations. Interesting. So grinder makes two. I can also just crush it to make two. So might as well crush it. That's much faster. All right, leave that there. Let's go crush these. Cool, 30 of them, nice. Bam, we're getting some of this now. There's 20 of it. I think I needed 40 of it though, right? Yeah, because we need to make 20 of these, so I need 20 more. So we need five more gas tiers, five more prismarines. Only that. Oops. <laughs> Chicken spawning out in the lava. <laughs> oh, do these take 5k each? Oh, 3,500, okay. Alrighty, so those will have to get going. Need a bunch more of those. But now, I think we can spawn a bunch of these. Just need a ton of charcoal. Oops. Not a spark yet. Oh, a bunch of gold as well. There we go. Ten. That's halfway. Right? Uh, well, close, because we need to get a few nuggets to make our spark. Now I actually need two sparks. I need four blaze powder, and then I need some shimmering mushrooms. They're all pretty much made the same way. Glowstone on the bottom, six mysterious dust, a mushroom, and then whatever color dye you want. So I've just been using yellow because I have a ton of yellow flowers and I would make four of these does this uh yeah it's one to one so for those I need four glowstone which I'm out of so good thing I've been farming light collectors I would suggest getting a few of them and farming them every chance you get because these come in handy uh, then we need atomic separators and the imprison lights. That'll give us our glowstone. Chickens do not give very much blood. <laughs> what else do I got? Squid, sheep, zombie. Now oh, I can make more zombie. Oh, I don't have a inventory space. I'll fix this later. Da, 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 K. 
give me some gas tears. I suppose you could also get like shard essence of ghast and spawn ghast, but bunch of glowstone. I only needed four. That'll do. The inventory is so overloaded. We need a bunch of mysterious dust, and I think that should be good. Oh, I need a bunch of mushrooms. Ah, oh, mushrooms are not easy. I should have grown some of these. So two mutation paste. Am I out of mutation paste? Dang it. comes from a rock core of the green and fertile soil. I don't have fertile soil either. Blue fertilizer blocks. Bone meal, okay. So you have a bottom chest, thank you very much. I don't remember what color it was. Blue. And a green. No, probably don't need that many fertilizer blocks. I still haven't made a stabilizing core, so it's going to be the pop-off game. Um, hello? <laughs> what is it doing? Like a weird desync going on right now. I don't know if it's because I'm recording or something with the new launcher. I don't know. It is possible, like, the new launcher doesn't respect the right JVM arguments, and it's not giving us as much memory. Turn, you stupid rock core. Alright, we got some new mutation paste. And a mushroom. Now, can I grow mushrooms? Oh man, vanilla. Here we go. Just on dirt? Or does that have to be on like um, compost or whatever? Or am I going to grow this thing? Over here. Oh, there's something in the way. We can go on top of the mob farm. Or we can go... Oh, yeah, right on top of here. How's that? Nothing around you. Grow. Grow. There you go. Yeah, do that. <laughs> you don't have to mutation paste all the rest of it. So I should have done the first time. Now we should be able to go you there, you there, up and down, and 
be in the middle. Those there, uh, blaze powders on the sides, and nuggets in the middle. There are our sparks. Awesome. We need sparks for sure. Because now we can put one on the glomeration plate and one in our mana pool. And I'll transfer it there real quick. Um, not sure how much mana I've even got in here. That is actually enough. So let's look at some of these. Let me clean up the inventory real quick. Uh, mom drops throw over here. You go up there. <laughs> Too much stuff to put away. What's I gonna throw in here? Oh, oh man. Okay. That is looking much better. Inventory is nice and clean. Okay. So to get Terra Steel, we need a mana diamond, a mana pearl, and mana dust. Or no, mana dust, mana ingot, mana diamond, or pearl. So the ingot again is the soul steel. Do I have one? Of course not. Why would I? Four metal diamond, four soul dust, and a crystal catalyst. Oh, it's not that kind of one, it's another one. Do, do, do. Pack's interesting because it's like a lot of the quests, you know, you're like, oh, this was so hard to do it, and I finally got it done, and then you realize that in the next quest you need like 40 of them. <laughs> like, oh, great, wonderful. <sighs> okay, so again, four metal diamond, four soul dust. I wish soul sand came in a exploding block. That would be nice. But we could just uh, do that. Metal diamonds? I got a lot of metal diamonds. I made a ton of those. I was like, if I'm going to make them, I'm just going to make enough for the rest of the pack. Soul sand's a lot cheaper. It's 1,000. Okay, not the best. Let me, um... That tool and kill a few Endermen out here. I did get this um, Zora Steel Sword, which is actually really nice. You can keep enchanting it. Yeah, every time you enchant it in this altar with Zorda stuff, you get new things. So you just put it right in here, and it gives you different levels. So if I want uh, Bane of Arthropods, Sharpness 6, I need 18 levels. <laughs> or random enchantment that I don't have yet for 5. And you just use the Zorda leaves to put the enchants on it. Okay. Let me throw you in here. We'll use later. I need to get soul dust out of you. Is that just grinding it? I can. Cr oh, I could crush one of these. Oh, nice. I'll have extra. Okay. Go 
for this guy. Does he have enough water? Oh, you're missing some water. I was, forgot, forgot to fix it after I used it last. Gotta clean up after yourself. in there. I'm going to wait to throw any more. I know that I'll need more, but let's just do the one. Okay, the mana um, dust is the easiest. It's just Inferno Fuel, which I might actually have. Nope, I do not. Carbon Dust, Blaze Powder, Ash. I have everything for it. That's nice. I can't remember if it's a mana diamond or a mana pearl, so let's look this up. Mana, you get mana diamond, mana pearl. Oh, so it doesn't need the dust. Wonderful. I have dust extra. Okay, so the pearl is a chorus pearl. Here's where you need those chorus fruits for in an ender pearl. Should have enough coarse fruit. Yep, I've been farming it for a little while. Ender pearls we have plenty of. And then the diamond, you need a end diamond, which we just happen to have a bunch of, right? Well, I just used them all, but let's get our scythe. Where'd I put it? There it is. So yeah, this tree is hugely important for Botania. Did I get one? I got 13. <laughs> to get the end version of it again was what? Turn it into one of those, turn it into one of those. Me on Enderman, get me the 3k. Nice. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh man, <laughs> I went too far. I didn't need to do that. And now I'm out of blaze rods, aren't I? <sighs> I have to do this again. Not like it's hard, but. See how deep we can go. That's as far as we can go. Just take it out of the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Just need one of those. With obsidian and endstone. Alright. Should have everything we need now. We have enough. I thought it was a quarter of a pool, which we had just barely. Oh no. 
No, don't run out. Dang it. Did they change how much it needed? A mana pool. Oh man, that was a big waste. <laughs> I don't know if it'll like keep going. Is there any way to get Lotus like really cheap in, in this pack? Nope. I did make five of these end of flames, but. It's going to be really hard. And I think this thing's paused. I thought it would maybe like reset if you ran out, but it seems to still be trying to go. The only problem is if we go five minutes, those items all despawn. <laughs> and if I try to pick them up, then it'll waste the whole thing. Hmm. All right, just for the sake of video, I'm gonna do this real quick. How does he wanna use it? Cause there's no, there's no mana in there. it for a second we're just trying something we're not really cheating right all right that should be enough to get us there now I'll probably just throw this one out and do it all over again. But I just wanted to show the thing without it going all to waste. There we go. All right, so. Get rid of you. You. Get the point back up there. Get rid of all the lotuses. Get rid of that guy, get rid of that guy. And there's our one tear steel. <laughs> okay, I'll make uh, one extra when I need to in between episodes, but that's going to do it. We've made um, just under half of the gold that we need for this quest, and I'll still need to make five tear steel for this one. Um, Dark Ender Steel just involves killing a ton of Endermen, really, because um, this stuff we get from Endermen. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, so that won't be too hard. I'll just farm Enderman for a while, which will give me a ton of blood as well to finish off the rest of the quest. Guys, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys next time for more Volcano Block. See you next time.